Good evening, I'm Karan Bhagahar. Let's begin with the main stories. Prime Minister Pushakawal Dahal appears unaccountable towards the parliament, ignores the call from lawmakers of opposition and ruling alliance to inform about his India visit. Implementation of programs announced in the budget feeble. Finance Ministry and Planning Commission divided on modality. Many programs stranded because of lack of laws. Russian President Vladimir Putin called the plans by Western countries to provide Ukraine with loans using interest from the Russian assets frozen abroad theft once it would not go unpunished. And the Nepal men's national cricket team to play South Africa in the ICC T20 World Cup at quarter five past 5 a.m. Nepal time tomorrow. Spinner Sandeep Lamichani to return in the squad. Although there is the duty of the country's executive head to inform the parliament about the developments of any foreign visits, Prime Minister Pushkamal Dahal has yet to do so regarding his recent visit to India last week, despite requests from parliamentarians of ruling and opposition parties. The parliament session has been underway every day, and leaders of the opposition have been demanding answers from the Premier in each meeting. While it might look normal for the opposition to demand answers, this time even lawmakers from the ruling parties have urged the Premier to share the details of his India visit. On Friday, Speaker Devraj Khimire eventually drew the government attention for the same. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister has been talking about his visit elsewhere. While inaugurating the substation of the third largest electricity transmission line of 400 kV capacity at Hitora 11 Thana Bharyang, Prime Minister Dhal said that he held discussions with his Indian counterpart regarding solving the border issues between Nepal and India and strengthening bilateral mechanisms. Analysts say the Premier should have first inform the Parliament about these developments and by not doing so, it has been understood that the Prime Minister has ignored his duties to the Parliament. Speaker of the House of Representatives, Devraj Khimire, has drawn the government attention to address all the issues raised at the Parliament. Speaker Khimire drew the government attention to furnish answers to the questions raised by the parliamentarians. The skipper, Speaker drew the government attention as the parliamentarians have been raising several questions regarding Prime Minister Pushakamal Dahal's India visit and the government preparation to combat monsoon-induced disasters. Prior to this, Nepali Congress Chief Whip Ramesh Lekak had shared his concern regarding no information to the Parliament regarding Prime Minister Dahal's visit to India. Saying an answer was not furnished to the Parliament even after five days of returning Nepal, Lekak had demanded a ruling. Prime Minister Dahal had left for India on June 9 to attend the oath ceremony of Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi and had returned a day later. Lekhak also demanded answers from the Prime Minister regarding the allegations made by Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Home Affairs Ravi Lamichane against members of the House of Representatives. The Ministry of Education on 26th of May implemented a directive for teachers' transfer with the objective of facilitating transfer of teachers and make the process transparent. Based on the directive, a facilitation committee is provisioned which will make transfer recommendations to the centre. The committee would also work on issues as directed by the ministry and the centre. But umbrella organisations, municipality associations and rural federations of rural municipalities have protested, saying the decision is against the system envisioned by the constitution. They say the Local Government Operation Act 2074 BS as per the Nepali calendar has given full authority of education up to the 12th standard to the local levels. Local levels have called on all 753 local governments to not implement the ministry's directive and also to execute works as per the Local Education Act. The Federation of School Management Committee has also stood in opposition of the ministry decision, saying that the new directive would complicate the process of transferring teachers. They say the move would result in the collapse of community schools and discourage teachers. Parliamentarians have shared their concerns regarding the language used against women inside the parliament. They have also urged everyone to grow aware about hate speech against women. After parliamentarians Rajendra Kumar Kesi and Yogendra Mondal made derogatory statements against women during Wednesday's meeting of the parliament, other parliamentarians expressed concerns at today's meeting. तर अस्ति जेठ 30 गते यही सदनमा एकजना पुरुष सांसदले जबरजस्ती करनीको घटनालाई प्रशय दिने गरी बडो सगौरवका साथ 
मैं बोले कुरा सड़क में आंदोलन भे मैं कई फरक पर्दन जसरी चाहे एटा महिला विभिन्न लालछना दोष लगने हिसाब से असभ्य रसंसदीय हिसाब से जो अभिव्यक्ति दूनभक मेस को सींगो सदनक तरफ म गंभीर आपत्ति प्रकट करना चाहूँ रहा वहाँ ले जसरी तो शब्द बोलने भाग वहाँ सावजनिक यही सदन बाफी मग्न को निम्ति मार्दिक अपील करना चाहूँ सांसद जनता का प्रतिनिधि हुआ सावजनिक व्यक्तित्व सावजनिक व्यक्तित्व भैसियत ने सांसद को आचरण सदाचार युक्त होने आवश्यक संसद भि वा संसद बाहर बोलिने भाषा मर्यादित रुने समूह वा वर्ग विशेष विरुद्ध हे भाव राखे बोलिने हुईन हमारा संसदीय कानून र कार्य विधि हमारा मर्यादा तोक का परिपालना में हमी सब सचेत भन स्वअनुशासन में बस्न सकूं महिला सम्मान रर्यादा कर सकूं Parliamentarians of the ruling parties themselves also criticized the budget introduced by the government. They alleged of allocation of budget on the basis of previous practices. यो पाउस में केंद्रित भाई रचे बिनियोजन भाइयों दूर दराज का जनता को आवश्यक ताला केंद्रित करे रे बिनियोजन करे ना पन्ने जनता को व्यापक गुना स्वाये को था व्यवस्था इजो पनी थी वा आजो पनी था इजो को व्यवस्था का सासे करे लेपने आपु केंद्रित रे आपु जो अनुकूल बजट निर्माण करते बने ऐले का नया मंत्री रस जो सरकार का निकाले पनी आपु अनुकूल बजट निर्माण करने जो यो प्रक्रिया ले यो व्यवस्था लाई सही ठाम आप पूरी आऊं दही ना तेजले का ताकि हम लिए व्यवस्था बदले को और थर आऊं दही ना भन्ने मल लाख से सुबह मुख मौदे It is now time for our segment Public Pulse, where you text us with your opinion. Public Pulse. Before we ask today's question, let us take a look at the result from yesterday's poll. Yesterday we were asked, what is your take on the government saying there is no problem in using TikTok as per law but making policy not to operate it? 44% were for A, dual character, 29% were for B, indication of creating pressure, and 27 voted for C, clamp on expression. Here is our today's question. Why do you think Prime Minister Pushkamal Bahal has not informed the parliament about his India visit and rather shared off the visit's developments outside? Your options are A, ignoring the parliament, B, nothing concrete to share, and C, fear of being criticized. The voting is on. Type NWS, select your option A, B, or C, and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. It is now time for a short break, but for more news, just stay with us. While introducing the budget last year, the government had declared several programs with the objective of retaining youth in the country and promoting entrepreneurship. However, despite the ongoing fiscal year about to end, the program has not been implemented. In addition to that, the program which was not implemented has been continued for the upcoming fiscal year. The government includes programs in the budget to gain popularity each year but fails to implement them, thus deceiving the public. Several such populist programs are included in the government's policies and programs and the budget, but are never implemented. With the objective of promoting entrepreneurship and manufacturing sector, the government had included National Production and Employment Promotion Program in the budget last year. Seven billion rupees was allocated for the program. A draft was prepared with the objective of providing loans at 3% interest rate, but it was not endorsed because of lack of consensus between the erstwhile Minister for Finance, Prakash Rahn Mahat, and the National Planning Commission Vice Chairperson, Min Bahadur Shrasta. The program, which was not implemented, has yet again been included in the budget for the upcoming fiscal year. Founder of the National Innovation Center, Mahabir Poon, resorted to protest with demand of allocation of at least 1% for Nepalese involved in research, innovation and inventions. The government agreed to de the demand and then allocated 1 billion rupees for innovation and inventions. However, in absence of laws, the program has not been implemented. The government decision to scrap 20 organizations with the objective of reducing current expenditure was not successful in absence of support from related ministries and officials. Such trend of including programs in the budget but failing to implement them have reduced the public trust. The program for country rating of Nepal with the objective of assessing the investment environment has regularly featured in the budget for the past five years but has yet to be implemented. The constitutional arrangement for the introduction of the budget on the 15th of Jesta as per the Nepali calendar was introduced with the objective of formulating required laws, regulations and directives within the month of Shravan. However, populist programs introduced by the government have not seen the light of the day because of the failure in formulating required policies and directives. In our public voice segment, we've asked in several provinces what should be done or what should be the priority of the budgets of provincial governments. Let us now take a look at what they had to say.
किसान और को लगी खाद मॉल और बढ़िया समय में पुगाओ डेरे हम रो महिलाओं के लिए इतनी कई घुरी रखे छह चली रखे छह अलग ठुलो ठुलो बजट ऐसा दिए भाव महिलाओं को क्या कर दिए भाव सरकार ने लेकिन नहीं थियो बच्चा हर रो को त्यो स्कूल में त्यो राम रो गर्नु पोरो बजट कारण बहन भय रहा था कि चाहिए ना त्यो है ना जनता ले अहिले सम्मा ले आ को बजट को अनुभूति करना पाको चाहिए ना जनकपुर धाम लाए अनेक खाद रब्बियों को किसान को लगी सीजन भंडा पहला उपलब्ध होने पड़ेगा सिंचाई स्वास्थ्य लगाया था कृषि लगाया था क्षेत्र में जो एक एक इधर बजट से पूरी वन शौक है वने कम से कम तो बजट ले साथ रखता पाऊं थे जनमान आज लाइक बुलाओ ने बजट भंडा पनी अलग ती बहुत ही पूर्वाधार में देखने के ही जो न Om Bikram Vista has been felicitated with Lifetime Achievement Award at this year's National Music Awards. Singer Bista was felicitated with the award at the 6th edition of the National Music Awards organized by Radio Kantipur earlier this evening. Winners in different categories included Moes Khodka, Pradeep Moinali, Suwani Mokhtan, Sushant Kesi, Prasant Saput, in fact, Prakash Shwaput, Shanti Sri Pariyar, Swapna Suman, Samir Shrestha and Benisha Powdell. Addressing the program, Kantipur Media Group Chairperson Kala Siroya said that the scope of the award was being widened each year and added that it had been contributing for the development of Nepali music industry. Time now for the international news. Russian President Vladimir Putin said today that plans by Western countries to provide Ukraine with loans using interest from Russian assets frozen abroad was theft and would not go unpunished. Putin, speaking at a meeting with foreign ministry officials, said that the way the West had treated Moscow showed that any country could fall victim to a similar Western asset freeze. Putin said that despite all the shishinery, theft with, uh, will certainly remain theft and it will not go unpunished. He also said that now it was becoming obvious to all countries and companies and sovereign funds that their assets and reserves are far from safe in both the legal and economic sense of the world. We have more news coming up, but right now it is time for yet another short break. Sports News. Having concluded the United States of America leg of the ICC 2020 Cricket World Cup with a defeat and sharing a point in two matches, Nepal men's national cricket team are now in St. Vincent. The Rhinos are to play South Africa in their third match of the tournament at quarter past 5 a.m. Nepal time. Having reached the Caribbean a day later than scheduled because of poor weather condition in Florida, Team Nepal have held just one training session. Spinner Sandeep Lamichani, who had earlier missed the matches in the United States of America after being denied a visa, returns to the squad. Nepal skipper Rohit Portal has said that Lamichani's return has strengthened the team. With a spinner making his return, at least one change is certain in the playing 11. Meanwhile, South Africa have already progressed to the Super 8 from Group D. While Sri Lanka have already crashed out from the group stage, Bangladesh, the Netherlands and Nepal remain in contention for the next round. That is all for the moment. Up next is the news in Nepali. Thank you for staying with us. Goodbye for now.